All right, the following is my recording I made while calling the DOL of Washington State Fictitious Corporation, DMV, DOL, whatever the hell they want to be called. <clears throat> and um, I figured out what they do with the MCO. Now, what we need, I need to figure out next is how do we get absolute ownership of this property away from the state? Get their freaking grippy little fictional hands out of it. They want you to be in the legal system. You'll hear here. Um, I've got to... I'm going to be um, editing this because there's a lot of fl like wait time in it and stuff. So I'm just going to cut to the chase. Hang on. Give me a second. Every Washington resident interacts with the Department of Licensing for a variety of Oh, my God. We created Not an easy this way again. to manage your driver and vehicle licensing needs in one secure okay, online service. Pause this like recording. Express, continue to hold. <coughs> Excuse me. Who is this again? Wait. Oops, sorry. I have a couple of questions. Okay. Um... Uh, it's my understanding that when someone buys a brand new car uh, from the dealership, the dealership gives the MCO to the state upon registration of that car. Correct? Is that correct? Yes. Okay. What does the state do with the MCO? Do they destroy it, or is it there? Uh, is it still there? We scan it in, and then we just. You scan it in and then destroy it? Yep. Why do you destroy the MCO? Because we scan it. You no longer have to. Sorry, you're cutting out. Try it again. Once we get it and we scan the system, that's our record. So we no longer require the actual paper in those. <laughs> Are you, could it be that you guys are destroying it so that no one can get ownership of their automobile back? <laughs> I mean, once we get the NCO, we issue out a title. So. Yeah, you issue a certificate of title. That's not proof of ownership. The proof of ownership is the MCO, which the state holds, the which means the state title, owns the vehicle. The MCO gets negated by the title. The That's MCO is the title. Okay, anyways, I'm not going to argue this with you. I just want to ask a couple questions. Um, how would it? How would a, a person go about um, deregistering an a automobile and getting the MCO back from the state? Deregistering as in just stopping the registration? Canceling the registration and getting the absolute ownership of their property back from the state so that the state has no um, ability to pretend it has any kind of interest in the automobile. Well, we don't have the MCO, sir. It's only the image now. It can't be much no, We don't give you because we would only. My stupid yeah. phone. Well, I guess the title document, but really, if you just want to remove the record, you know, all you have to do is expire, then we don't really care. So okay. Just let the registration expire. So, well, I'm trying to figure out how to get absolute ownership of the property. And you would do that by having the title and just having yourself as the legal owner. The, cer the certificate of title? A legal owner? Yes. If you were so you the only person listed on that title, that means you are the legal and registered owner, and you have full say, and no one else does happen to that view. Not even the state? Not even the state. Then why is the state it's going right. around issuing tickets as though they have some kind of ownership of the automobile? One more time, you're breaking up. Then why, if the state has absolutely no interest in in these automobiles, then why do they have the policy enforcers running around with guns issuing tickets for traffic infractions that are not crimes? So are they moving violations or parking violations? It doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> well, they're going to go into the 
registered owner of the vehicle, the law enforcement has the ability in the law to write tickets out to the registered owner of actually, the vehicle. Actually, they don't. I actually have what proof that they don't. You have proof that they don't. I have absolute lawful proof that they don't. And I also have proof that no one is required to register their automobile. And that the MCO is the actual title to the car. The certificate of title is not. It is only, it is proof that the state has a vested interest in the automobile and actually owns because, it, in fact, in accordance you have with law. And registered within Washington State, you receive a Washington State title. Uh -huh. You can take that title to any other state <coughs> if you want and register it there, and you'll get a new title within that state. But the MCO is just the origin document. It doesn't, <laughs> once the title is issued, the origin document goes away. Mm -hmm. The title takes the place of the ownership documentation. Well, there must be a way to get absolute ownership. So th are you telling me the only way to have ownership of your own property is to go and buy it brand new and don't let it get registered? Well, if you don't register it, then you're not going to be able to drive the vehicle because you won't. Oh, yes, I can. I have law to prove that we have the right to travel. So let's not argue about that topic. I'm just trying to find the MCO. Obviously, the MCO, sir. So you guys destroyed it. How would I get a copy of the NCO from the state? You can request it through public disclosure, but it's only a copy. It's not a valid document. Well, neither is a certificate of title. <laughs> the title is the most valid document for ownership that you can have. In the legal system. Not in Which the law is. system. <laughs> Which is the same thing. No, it's Actually, not. it's not. <laughs> There's two different okay, systems well, in America. You people really need to learn the law and wake up, but... That's okay, because the DMV is going to be going down for fraud here in the next couple of years. It's all good. People are waking up. You guys are in trouble. Maybe not you I'm directly, but the, the corporation is. Um, aside I'm from that... The wizard, but unfortunately, we cannot give you the, M the original MCO. You do not have it. Okay, but I can... If you have a title in your name, you have absolute ownership of the vehicle. That's plain and simple. Okay. Um... I don't put anything in my name because there is no name and that's a whole nother topic to talk about that will go way over your head right now and it's not a concern. So um, well, I can... Is there anything else I can do for you, sir, then? So you're telling me that I can get at least a copy of the MCO from the state? Yes, but it's not going to prove anything. Well... It's not going to have your name on it. This is actually proof that the state destroys it so that... that people cannot get absolute ownership of their property back. You have done quite a service, so thank you. You're very welcome. We're exposing you all for fraud. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs> all right. I just so we got the answer. Thing. They do destroy the MCO. You got it right out of the horse's mouth. <laughs> right from a state representative. A fiction at law. All right, thank you. Now I have to edit this thing. All right, so there you go. There is, right out of the little horse's mouth, the states destroy the MCO. So if anybody out there knows exactly how to get absolute ownership of your property to where if these douchebags take your automobile, you can get it right back. People need to learn how to be free. <clears throat> especially when these states are committing fraud the way they are. All these little douchebag employees are just running amok, and uh, we are getting fucked by that. So anyways, here we go. I'm going to make a little video out of this, and we'll post it up. That didn't take very long to figure out what these douchebags are doing with your automobile titles. So, keep up the investigation. Help me in my investigation, people. If you know a way to prove absolute ownership of your automobile, let me know. I'm sure there's probably case law. There's probably other laws. There's a guy in California that actually does this, but he doesn't want to share his information. He just shares a video where the tow company takes his car, and then he says, like a month later, they bring it back. He doesn't want to share information, and he wants to charge you for it. So, you know, 
douchebags like that are not helping the free to free people to help people they just want your money what money there is no fucking money assholes all right i'm going to get off